And right now I am leading a research project in the Faroe Islands. It's a multi-year project that looks at the intersections between environment and human health, specifically related to the traditions here that involve whaling. It is very communal and it is absolutely the only place in the world where this exact way of whaling still happens. People in the Faroes hunt whales for food and there are several issues, including the sustainability of the operation itself and the contaminants that the whales unfortunately pick up from the natural environment. I couldn't be happier uh, with the team that I've put together. There's more women who are trying to take actively part in the hunt. Historically, they definitely have been discouraged from participating. That has changed though, so technically anybody, as Dr. Fielding was saying, anybody can participate. This topic is interesting because uh, as a conservationist, you're like, oh yeah, save the whales. But it's such a more complex topic than that. If you ever hear about the pharaohs, it's usually with the whaling, and it usually has a negative connotation to it. When you put yourself in their shoes and understand how they live, it really changes how you view their ways. My perspective has definitely changed over time. You're here and you're listening to people talk about it, and it's, it's completely different. The Faroe Islands government is very careful to regulate whaling in such a way that they only hunt species that are abundant. This is sustainable whaling if, if ever such a thing existed. The interviews that we've done so far have been really tremendous and I'm learning so much. It's amazing that we're able to do this and I think it speaks very highly for the kind of teaching practices combined with research practices that Coastal is supporting. These whales are really an indicator of the overall health of the natural environment. What we will learn here, we hope, will apply to fishing communities in South Carolina, for example. We learn a lot about pollution and marine science, but you don't get to hear from everyday citizens who that's impacting that much. And so I think this is really important to broaden my focus on people are impacted too, why don't we look at them? Collecting women's testimonies creates a really interesting case study at looking how women navigate male-dominated spaces. Those findings can be used for other male-dominated spaces worldwide. It's a different culture, and I think Grace and Alyssa have really been expert at not passing judgment. For me, traveling abroad and doing research was really foundational to, to the building of my career. It might sound a little cliche, like, oh, we're going on a life-changing experience, but it has been. Just being able to be fully immersed into a culture that you never knew existed, it's been amazing. Us being here really fits incredibly well into those efforts to give coastal students the tools they need to become involved global citizens. Yeah.